Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful seed beads hitch all style rings. They're really easy to make and I'm showing you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and it's a good idea to hit the bell because you will be notified when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done like I have a tutorial for a bracelet and for earrings matching this ring and I'm linking to them here at the eye icon and I want to point you one fact when I was making the bracelet you told me that too much thread is showing and that is why here I decided to use monofilament and you will see the difference how the thread is not so much visible here. So if you don't like this effect with the thread, uh, just use um, monofilament that is clear. And for tutorial purposes, I used here a thread that is visible so you could see what I'm doing and where I'm going. Okay, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find full list of materials, Amazon links where you could buy supplies from, links to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you guys for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are four colors of 11 seed beads. Here I use monofilament that is 0.006 inches of 0.15 millimeters and I use it in this tutorial because you told me that you see a lot of thread in my previous work when I was making the bracelet and the earrings. Now as you see no thread is shown here because I'm using transparent monofilament. Okay and I use size 10 beading needle and scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. I'm putting an arm span uh, because it might be a little too long, but I prefer to have more thread for reinforcements. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and in my first step, I'm going to take six yellow beads. Okay, and now I have my six yellows. And I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. And I will stick my needle in my mat. And here I want to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I made and now I'm going to make one more knot and I pull and now guys I have this Okay, and in my next step, I'm going here through some beads. And what I want to take is one orange bead. And I'm going back in circle through this yellow. Okay, like that. Then I will go in my next yellow. And I will take one more orange. And I'm going back in circle through the following yellow. You see I have something like a loop here between my beads. Then I'm going in my next yellow, taking just one orange, going back in circle through this yellow and exit out of the next yellow just to save time in one movement okay and I will continue this three more times Okay guys, now I have this and what I want to do is go here in this orange and exit in my next row. 
And for my next row, first I want to flip my work because I prefer to go in this direction as I'm right handed. Because I prefer to go in this direction as I'm right handed. And now I'm going to take two red beads and go in this orange. You see how now my thread doesn't, is not that visible because I'm using monofilament. Okay, then I take two more. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I'm exiting after this second red bead and I'm going to take one red, one yellow and one red. This is what I have on my needle and I'm going back through these two red beads. Okay, now I have this. You see a loop and pull. Now guys, I'm going in my next orange bead. And I'm going to take just one orange and I'm going back in circle through this orange. And when I pull, I have this. Then I go in my next two red beads and I take a red, a yellow and a red. Okay, like this. And I go back in circle through these two red beads. Then I go in my following orange. I take one orange bead and I go back in circle through this orange. Okay, then I'm going in my next two red beads and red, yellow, red, okay, go back, and I'm going to continue this the same way, orange, red, yellow, red, orange, red, yellow, red, and I'll meet you here when I'm up to this orange bead, okay? Okay guys, and I hope you paused this video and you added all of those beads here. If you forgot how I did it, you could always rewind and see how I'm doing the first part and repeat it, okay? So now I'm exiting out of this red one. And what I need are three red beads and I'm skipping this yellow and I'm going through this red and also through the following orange and red. If you can, do this in one movement. You will save time. Okay. Then I'm going to take three more red beads. And I'm skipping the yellow, going through red, orange, red. And pull. Three more red beads, skipping the yellow and my goal is to exit out of the following red bead. Okay, now I'm going to continue this and when I'm up to here, I'll meet you and tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And I pull. And now guys, what I want to do is go here through these three top red beads. Okay. 
and I'm going to take three green beads okay like this and I go here through these three red beads at the top and I need three green beads and I'm going through the top red beads three more okay go here through these top three beads of my next flower that I added in my last row okay guys and off camera I'm going to continue these three more times and I'll meet you when I'm here okay okay and I'm here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and I will go here in my next green bead and I'm going to take three green beads like this skip the green one in the middle and go in this direction through as many beads as you can okay now I have this then my goal is to exit out of my next green and I will repeat this take three green beads skip the one in the center and go through the following green and through the next two red beads and then I'm going through the red and through the following green my goal is to reach this green the first of my three greens that I added in my last row take three more greens skip this green in the middle and go here in this green okay then reach the next green okay and I'm going to continue this and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I'm adding my last three green beads in this row and I pull now I have this and now I'm exiting out of this green bead that's sticking out uh, red bead sorry that's sticking out and what I want to take are five orange beads okay guys I have my five orange beads here and I'm going back in circle through this red one and I pull then guys in my next step I'm going through these two orange beads and pull then through the one that's here in the center and what I want to take are five orange beads okay I have here my five and I'm going back in circle through this orange in this direction okay then I will go through these two orange beads and here through this one then I'm going to take five more orange beads okay I have my five and I'm going back in circle through this one then I'm going here in these orange beads and in this one that's in the center here then I need five more okay and I will go back here okay guys and I'm going to continue this off camera and when I have a ring band that's long enough to wrap it around my finger I'll be back to tell you how to finish your work okay guys and I have nine elements in total okay so now what I'm going to do is flip my work in this direction and I want to connect this part to this part and here is where I'm going to add my tenth element okay and in order to do this I'm taking two 
orange beads and I'm going back through this red here only through the red that's sticking out and I pull okay then here what I need are two more orange beads and I'm going back in circle through this orange here in this way I'm making the same element but I'm using this red one and this orange one okay from my other elements that I'm connecting okay so now what I'm going to do is go through this orange then through this red one here in the center and also through these two orange beads like this now I'm exiting here and what I want to take is one green bead and I will go in my two orange beads of my next element okay I have this then I'm taking one more green bead go back through these two orange beads you see then one more green go through the following two orange beads that are on my way and I'm going to continue these guys until I'm up to here and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm back and when I continue beading you see I'm up to this part and I'm taking one green bead and I'm going in these orange beads in this direction okay and I turn this in that way okay then I'm going in this red one here then I go in these two orange beads take one green like this and go in these two orange then I'm taking one green and I go in my following two orange beads you see what I have here one green go in the orange beads okay and I'm going to continue this and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you how to finish your work okay guys and now I'm here where I'm almost finished with my ring band you see what I have and I'm going to add here my last green bead then in my next step what I want to do is go here and cut my tail thread and in order to do this first I'm going to make a knot but I will make this knot at my back side at the back side of my work and I'm making here a knot by first making a loop between some beads okay I want a loop and after that I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull then what I want to do next is go in my following seed bead and cut my thread by the way you could do more and more knots just to reinforce your work and when you're ready go through the following seed bead and then cut your thread okay guys and now my ring is ready 
Okay guys, and now my heat show style seed bead rings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell. In this way you will be notified when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. Like I did this bracelet and I'm sharing here at the DI icon. If you like what I do, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I post below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and also Amazon links where you could buy supplies from. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.